This video covers the configuration of the Komodo Edit. It's a free open source editor for teaching children to program in Python. So I was previously using Emacs and it's a bit difficult to get all the little bits working on Emacs. Komodo works out of the box. So you just go to the komodoide.com URL right here and there's two different versions. One's a commercial version with the free trials available. Another one is the edit not the IDE and we'll be covering the, the edit for this one. Let's go to the site hit the download button and I've already downloaded. It's going to be Komodo edit file name and dot tar dot gz cxvf file name you can use tab to complete the file name unpack it I'm going to run the install sh as root sudo I'm going to specify the install directory. I'm going to install mine in opt opt komodo edit 9. So I'm installing it in a different directory than is specified as a default. The reason is to give all the users on the system access to komodo edit. It's pretty quick. I'm going to see where it's installed. I'm going to run it. It's working. I'm going to lock the Komodo icon to the launcher. I've locked it. So the first thing I'm going to do is to get rid of the hidden files, so starting with a dot. Select Manage Views. This section here. Go to the end, add a semicolon, and then do dot star. So it's the final section here that is right there. It's dot star. Select OK. And now you can see in the left hand column it's looking a little bit more friendly. Under the views, under the toolbars, show menu bar. So, so now you have the menu bars. If you're new to Komodo, the menu bars would be helpful. And then we're going to select Show Button Text. So now there's a text under the buttons.
So if for the students, you may want to specify just one directory as the root directory so that they only see a limited number of files under the views. Oh, it's actually under preferences. You might want to select a larger font for the children. Go to color scheme. You can select a color such as I still like. So we'll give a larger font for the kids. So first going to tools, select the run command and do percentage, left parentheses, Python, right parentheses, and then percentage, uppercase F, add it to the toolbox. so that the application can run. Now right click on the command, go to properties, want to start in percentage capital D so that it takes the files in the current directory. select a key binding so that they can run it. So now I think they're good to go. If you're curious, this is Pi Open GL with Pi Game. probably don't want them to start on this until after they get the 2D game program going. Okay, that's it.